Hello all, the practitioner here, bachelor of science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsych researcher, technical agnostic, and Fortean skeptic. I'm here to speak um, on, uh, again, uh, against the death penalty. I'm siding with Penn and Teller on this one, um, like I have with most of their episodes, with the exceptions of the ESP episode and the environmentalism episode. But there were a couple of points that Penn and Teller failed to mention, uh, one of which is the stats pertaining to um, costs. If you actually put someone on death row, sure you may end up having to spend a couple of, uh, you know, sure you may end up keeping them there as much as 25 years. There are some people who might end up spending as much as their natural lifetimes on there, depending on how slow the justice system is. We already know how long it takes to get uh, appeals to retrial anyway. Now the thing is that, how many times do you think that a uh, person uh, could end up reappealing themselves? They have quite literally from the appeals court all the way up to the Supreme Court of the United States uh, to be able to get their case overturned. Now, what do you think that's going to cost? The, you know, um, you have, you're spending millions already for people who are, you know, in jail for up to life imprisonment anyway, uh, for people, you know, for murders in some states, and you'd have, um, you know, and you still have, um, you know, but you still have millions upon millions of dollars being spent in appeals that would actually cost the system even more to uh, fight, you know, the, uh, the normal appeals anyway, because of the fact that people will be trying to stall the process as long as possible to prevent themselves from being executed. So the, so the point is that if you're putting them on, you know, you want to think that it's more cost effective. Uh, one of the other arguments I've heard for the death penalty is, oh, it's more cost effective because you're killing the people as opposed to just keeping them in prison overall. It costs probably just as much, if not more, because depending on the appeal process, you're having to spend millions upon millions of dollars more for each and every appeal case. So if you're going to deal with that, just stick them in life imprisonment, and even the possibility, of, um, like even for, uh, to, as they pointed out here, there may be, say, okay, what? On the most conservative estimates, there are 20 people who were later found exonerated uh, since 1973 for, um, you know, on death penalty cases, uh, you know, due to lack of evidence, what have you. So if that's the case, uh, you know, if that's the case, and there's those 20 people, why not just simply eliminate the death penalty altogether? You keep them locked up, you make da you, you put, you know, anybody who's got a murder or what have you, you put them in a maximum state security prison, or maximum federal security prison, you make damn sure that there's no way they can get out, and then if the evidence later turns out, and if the evidence turns out later that they've become, uh, you know, like, like, um, after blood typing to DNA, like I've already pointed out before, um, you know, mis you know, when misinterpretation of science came in, like, you know, if, um, you know, if it turns out that the evidence later um, turns out to be um, in a much, you know, different state and, you know, it turns out the person's innocent, great, let them go. If uh, somebody turns out to be innocent later on after they've double-checked the case, uh, you know, it's kind of difficult to let someone go who's been executed. And, yeah, if it does turn out that we've uh, uh, executed an innocent person, you know, like if it does turn out to be that way later on after reveal, reveal, uh, reviewing some of the cases, then guess what? Luckily, I'm Canadian, so fortunately, I'm no longer I'm no longer living in a generation which is a murder uh, which are murderers. We uh, we got rid of that problem. My ancestors are, but luckily, I'm not blemished with that. But I hate to say it, Americans, if you guys have screwed up even one death, or even one case of treason, or you know, or something like that, like if, or even if there's been one case of racism or something like that, like where things could have gotten overwhelmed, you know, um, if you have let a single murderer uh, go to it then guess what? You know, uh, you fucked up, and, you're, and you've all got murders on your conscience. And as that lady pointed out, by that logic, the entire... Guess what? If it turns out, you know, I'm this would be the one time I would advocate this, and I'm only advocating this hypothetically by your own policy. This is at a federal level, too. They can execute you for a charge of treason in the United States. In Canada, it's a life imprisonment issue. If the Ameri Americans, if you end up executing someone wrongfully, then the bulk of you are all murderers, and you deserve extermination by your own standards. You deserve the entire rest of the planet ganging up and bombing the shit back of your country. Do I make myself clear? Now, this is not an appeal to force or some reason for you to give up the death penalty. This is just a simple, logical contradiction of your own argument. You want, uh, you want to support the death penalty. If you kill one innocent person, as that philosophy professor pointed out, you are all legally uh, you are all uh, morally murderers and legally uh, allowed to be executed systematically, what, either one at a time, by, uh, by the variation according to your state or federal level, or, um, now again, 
Uh, technically speaking, this would only be within the states for death penalty uh, in relation to murder. If it turns out if it's an innocent person of treason, then the lot of you, uh, then the lot of you Americans are, have the right to be executed. Um, if it's just, uh, if it's on the state level pertaining to um, just pertaining to murder or something like that, then everyone within that state has the right to be murdered, uh, to be executed as well. Uh, but then, of course, that logical argument goes on. You see where I'm going with this? Uh, anyway, I don't want to bother any more about it, but you get the idea. Um, the death penalty is logically incorrect. There's uh, financial, there's plenty of other reasons. Penn and Teller have expressed it more, uh, more succinctly than I could. And until then, I am very much happily alive, and I hope that the rest of the, uh, I hope that the rest of uh, the, some of you Americans will have a great deal more sense, and hopefully um, pressure the government to re-examine the uh, evidence on a lot of these cases. Who knows? You just may save a bunch of innocent lives. Toodles.